morning everybody michelle here never mind that so i'm here because i'm gonna do something a little bit crazy i'm gonna use concrete and try to make a garden sculpture let's see how it goes so here's some of my supplies got my tripod here concrete this bust that i'll explain in a minute some water my hat my apron and a bit of cardboard definitely have to do this outside so i'm gonna try to set up here. <laughs> My plan is since I think it dries quite quickly, I'm going to use that with concrete in it and just sort of build up as I go. I don't know, but I also probably need a bucket. Ooh, hold on. So I don't know a lot about concrete. I do know that it can irritate your skin. It dries you out. It absorbs. So I'm going to definitely wear gloves. Heck, these thin ones are probably good because I'll still be able to like feel what I'm sculpting, but they might rip easily also. So I'm actually gonna get some of these bad boys also. I don't know how this is all gonna go. A pair that matches would be nice, at least. I don't know. Okay. Ridiculous. <laughs> Gotta go get something in my shed and listen. Here's the babies. And this is my garden. This is uh, something I've been working on. Looks pretty dead. We'll see. Okay, so I think I have a trowel. This is for concrete. Uh, what? container. It looks so good from this angle. <laughs> All right, now I don't want to breathe this in either. I know that this is for pouring, but I am not strong enough. Maybe. No, don't breathe that in. Get out. All right, I see the concrete. Concrete is heavy and dense. Wow. So I made this thing, this underframe last year. It might have been earlier than that. I started filming when I made it, but I lost that footage when I lost all those videos. This is basically just some wood. It doesn't have to be done exactly like this. You just need a solid interior for your sculpture. And I'm saying this like it's a tutorial, although I don't really know if it's gonna actually work out or not. So my apologies if it doesn't, but this is what the art club is all about, is just trying stuff. I got this wood thing built that stands on its own. And then just to build it out a little bit, but not make it super heavy, I added some chicken wire. And then I had this like drywall tape that I just put over top. You can use a lot of different things. Uh, I don't really know, but this is just what I came up with. If you couldn't tell already, this is gonna be a bust. Remember the miniature bust I made? This is a bigger one to put in my garden. I have to mix the concrete, but I am worried because I think you have to mix it all at once and I don't think I have enough. I might end up using a bigger bucket actually. I got some more concrete in this. I'm gonna just start mixing it with a little bit of water at a time. I don't really know how much. I have this old rusty thing to stir with, um, but I can't use Len's nice tools, so. I also don't really know how much time I have with this, but I looked at concrete sculpting and it was very hard to find online because usually it's concrete oh gosh did I put too much water oh please no usually it's concrete molds that are done never usually I don't usually see sculpting done
crazy how it's still dry. I'm doing this by hand, and usually people do this with oh, a no. drill. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have that. No. All the construction guys are probably like laughing at me right now. Because I'm sure there's a lot of construction guys watch my channel. Whoa. Any more water than this can be a bit of a problem. Alright. I can't feel any hard spots. So, here's hoping. I think I gotta work a little bit fast. So I think I don't I didn't block it enough right here. I feel like I might need more concrete. I'm not sure. I've always loved concrete and when I was a little girl these men were at our house and they were doing the concrete walk and when they were done they had a bunch left over like a wheelbarrow full and I had a little camp in the woods and I thought oh my goodness if I have that concrete I can make myself a little pond and so I went over to the big man I was probably like seven years old and I was like Excuse me, can I please have the rest of that? And he was like, nope. And he took the wheelbarrow and dumped it down over the side of the bank. Scarred for life. Now the thing is, I don't know if this is gonna work because now this will be a different level of dryness than the new stuff, but I don't have a choice at this point, so I'm gonna do my best. Mix some more concrete. It's still plenty wet, so hopefully. <laughs> Thank you.
So this has been one of the hardest projects I've ever tried in my life. As you could see in that video, how it just kept falling and falling and falling. Oh my goodness. Well, I think I wet the cement too much, but it's similar to like trying to make a sculpture out of sandy mud. And I mean, I guess I should have figured that. That's kind of what it is. It's challenging, but I'm gonna try to scrape more now that it has solidified. If I can't get it much more detailed than it is, it's not gonna look the worst just for the garden. So here we go. I made the shape kind of and then I covered it with concrete, but it's so hard. Like, look at that, that's so good. Mm. That's the thing that you were planning to do. Yeah. It's, it was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. I put underneath is now showing through. So this stuff. But other than that, I mean, she turned out pretty good. She is still drying and then I'm gonna be able to like sweep off a lot of this loose sand, which will help more detail to show up. <laughs> 